Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Ramona Schell. Um, I'm the admissions advisor at United Tribes Technical College, and I'm going to go through our requirements, what you'll need to submit in order to become a student to UTTC. Uh, we do have our upcoming summer semester and also our fall semester, so whichever you choose. And as far as the admissions process, we have the application, which is online only, so you'll need to fill out the application at uttc.edu, that's our abbreviations. And depending on the information that you submit on your application is the requirements we're going to request. So for instance, if you are a new student, fresh out of high school, never attended a college, you would um, be considered new. So we would be requesting your high school transcript along with other documents. But if you are currently a high school student anticipated to graduate in May, we will accept your unofficial transcript to get you accepted by the Native American tuition waiver deadline date, which is July 1st for fall. And uh, once you graduate, then you would submit your official transcript after your graduation date is printed on there. So that's one thing for like new students. Transfer students, you attended another college, but you've never attended UTTC, we're gonna request official college transcripts all transcripts that you, um, they have to be official from that institution, or if that institution participates in Student National Clearinghouse or Parchment, that's the electronic transcript exchange program that we participate in. And let's see, returning students, you would need to submit the readmissions application. It's a shorter version of the application and if you sat out for let's say more than maybe three years two to three years one of the new requirements is a photo id with birth date could be a state id uh, your tribal id driver's license for that and then of course um, new transfer and returning students everybody has to fill out a fafsa a free federal student aid that is a requirement so i'll go over the documents that you'll need to submit. It'll be GED scores, a high school transcript with a graduation date. It'll be a college transcript official from that institution, your immunization record. Regardless if you're gonna reside on campus or online, you will need to submit a immunization record for students that are age 21 and younger. You would need to provide the vaccine for the meningitis given after the age of 16. That is a new requirement that we um, request, along with the measles, mumps, rubella vaccination. And then <clears throat> degree of Indian blood or a tribal ID card is fine if you are an enrolled member of a federally recognized tribe. We also request ACT scores if you did not receive your ACT scores within the last three years, we provide the AccuPlacer during orientation. So there's no need to worry about the ACT scores if you did not um, take that test. And then also um, your degree of Indian blood we request. And then uh, FAFSA, like I said, the free federal student aid would need to be also complete with our financial aid office. And like I said, um, deadline dates for the fall semester, we do have the Native American tuition waiver. That deadline is July 1st. There is no application. It just goes by acceptance date. And for summer, the Native American tuition waiver deadline is April 1st. And if you miss that date, once you become a student, for that for the summer or the fall as you're a continuing student and you keep your um, certain eligibility requirements you can continue to receive that tuition waiver for the next term if you're a current student so but i know financial aid they will uh, probably go into more detail regarding that so as far as admissions um 
once you submit your application, you're gonna receive a email and also acknowledgement letter. In the email, it's gonna have um, your passcode and uh, ID. So you can actually go into myuttc.edu and log in and you can track your um, progress for the admissions at that pace. And then also you can always give us a call, um, email admissions at uttc.edu. As far as your documents, um, like I said, the high school and the college transcript has to be official from that institution. As far as the other documents, you can either submit by email, fax, mail, whichever um, you prefer, whichever is easiest for you. Um, I know if you, on your smartphones, they do have that option in the notepad for um, scanning documents. And as long as you get the document in there um, squared um, and it comes through visible on our end, we could accept it that way. Your immunization record, your photo ID, your certificate of Indian blood. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, we talked a little bit about um, the requirements and then once you are accepted, you will receive your official acceptance letter and then uh, keep continuing to check your email because we will be in contact with you with the upcoming dates of orientation and registration, which is already on our website, but um, we keep you updated on that. And then um, also, um, had, Paige had mentioned with the orientation, AccuPlacer and orientation is going to be still available online, so that'll be helpful. Plus, we're going to have like a welcome um, weekend for the students too. So, but as far as that, yeah, just um, submit your documents and then keep in touch with admissions. We usually um, communicate by email mostly, but if we have specific questions about your application or a document, we would give you a phone call if you don't reply to the email. But um, yeah, as far as that, then just um, submit your application and hopefully we will see you either in the summer or the fall. Thank you. Have a nice day.